Today I'm going to show you how to connect uh, an Eden monitor. This is an IM60 that we have here um, to your network and to xchart.com. So we're going to start out by just physically connecting the monitor. So you have actually two options of doing this. One is with a hardwired network connection like this, just an ethernet cable plugged into your office network. The other is with Wi-Fi, depending on the models. Not all of them have Wi-Fi, but um, this one does. I'll show you both. First, let's start with wired. So on the back of the monitor here, it's pretty simple. There's just an ethernet port, you plug it in. And uh, really, as long as your office network is configured and allows new items to be connected, then it should work. That's really all it should take um, to actually physically connect it. Then we can jump here to the menu. And we're gonna type maintenance. We're gonna say user maintain. We're gonna type A, B, C, hit okay. And now we're going to go to network maintain here in the bottom. So here there are a few different options. So network type, we are going to set to be a wired, so physically connected. And um, then we're going to go to config over here. So this, this can do it either way, uh, but generally recommend setting this to be dynamic. Dynamic means that let the network assign its own IP address. Um, and when you do this, <clears throat> You'll notice here at the bottom, these grayed out numbers, if it says 0000, zero, zero, zero you're not actually connected to your network. If you say, if it says a number like this, like if I switch it, if I go to static, so static means that it's a number that I put in, right? And in this case, this is not valid for my network, but if I switch it to dynamic, first it should say 0000, zero, 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 and then when it connects, suddenly it gets an IP address. So this is the IP address we may need later on in order to connect our monitor. So in this case, it's 192.168.86.51. That's just on my particular network. Yours will be different. Okay, the second option is to connect via Wi-Fi. So if we go here and select Wi-Fi instead, and then go do config, here's where we have a chance to pick the Wi-Fi network that we want to connect to. In my case, I believe it's already got one here. So it says it's connected to Spoketown, which is my network. And now the IP address is actually where it says right here. So the 192.168, that's the one that uh, the Wi-Fi network assigned us in this case. And same thing here, you can set this to dynamic. Um, but unlike before, in this case, you're actually looking for the IP address right underneath the network name. So it's gonna say connected, and then that's the IP address. Again, this is the IP address we may need later uh, to connect this particular monitor to the Xchart software. So those are the two modes, either Wi-Fi or hardwired. Generally speaking, if you have the option to hardwire it in and you don't need to wheel it around your office, we typically recommend just having it hardwired. Um, it just removes one variable um, from the equation, but um, either should work. Next, let's set up our computer to talk to this monitor. Next up, you want to go to xchart.com slash downloads, and you want to download, uh, scroll down to the bottom here, it says desktop apps for Eden or older mind day monitors. We're going to go ahead and download and install the application. I've already done that here with just a simple download and open that app. Okay, now you'll notice that we have the xchart uh, application here, the desktop application downloaded and running. You'll, of course, have to sign in, etc. But once you're here, just go ahead and open any case. And now when we go to connect vitals monitor up here, it should say Eden IM or X series. You can click that. And now it's going to actually scan the network looking for this particular monitor. So sometimes this takes a little bit. I happen to have quite a few items connected to our network here. And that is okay. Okay, there we go. So at this point it found it um, and it's showing us the vitals data from this particular monitor. If you had multiple, they would both, they would, you know, all show up here. So this just confirms this is the one you want. Looks good. And we're going to say use this connection. Great. And really that's it. At this point, we are connected to the Eden monitor and receiving vitals data. If we go to the vitals page here, we can see, you know, it's inserted the data that's come in. And uh, yeah, we're off to the races. We can chart the rest of the case. But at this point, we are recording. And every five minutes, it's going to insert uh, an additional slot here. Next, I'm going to show you how to debug this if it's not working for some reason. The basic idea when you're dealing with a network connection between two devices, you have to make sure that they're able to communicate with one another. 
Not all networks are lenient in this. For example, if you are connected to your guest network at your office, a lot of times guest networks don't allow devices uh, to connect to each other, to other devices on that network without special permission. So generally speaking, you want to make 100% sure that basic two devices can communicate with each other. So the way we can confirm that is actually using this app called Terminal on Mac or uh, PowerShell for Windows. If you go ahead and open the app called Windows PowerShell or Terminal, which is what I have open here, and here we can type a command. The command is the same for both Windows and Mac, and it's just ping. So ping lets you type in an IP address and just see at a basic network level, are these able to communicate with each other? So if I go back over to this monitor here, let's see what the IP address is supposed to be. So again, we're gonna open our uh, maintenance. We're gonna say user maintenance. We're gonna go A, B, C and then uh, open network maintain. Now Wi-Fi, and notice it's not this server IP. This has nothing to do, this is not the IP address. That's, it's, that's something else entirely. So you wanna make sure that that's, um, <laughs> you just ignore that, that doesn't matter. Uh, the thing that matters is if you go to config and then scroll down here, see this IP address right here? That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna type that over here on the computer. I'm gonna type 192. Dot 168.86.46 and hit enter. So it's just ping, P-I-N-G space, the IP address. And if it says here, you know, bytes coming back, bytes from, that's great. That means it's able to connect somehow. I can hit control C to just stop it or just close this all together. But at this point, we know that this device is able to communicate with this monitor at a basic network level. So now when we go back into our software here, if I go ahead and disconnect this temporarily, so let's say that it couldn't find it when I selected Eden here. What we can do is we can say enter IP manually, and now we can enter the same thing again. So it's 192, in this case, 168.86.46, and now we can connect directly, and that should be really quick. So it says connection select, selected, and there you go. Now you're off to the races. If it's still not working, uh, one thing to check is if we go back here to, now we're on the user, uh, the network maintain menu. Um, right here, protocol version. <laughs> you wanna set this to one, make sure it's set to one. Um, that's another thing to check. And also if you recall, if you go to wired, if we're doing this in wired mode and we go to config, this is the IP address for the wired connection. So first of all, if this says 0000, zero, zero, zero it's not gonna work. It doesn't matter what you do with Xchart, this has to be, if it's set to dynamic, it has to assign it an actual IP address. That means it has one. So again, back on the computer, I'm gonna ping that one. So I'm gonna type ping 192.168.86.51 in this case, now that we're on the wired. And again, if we're seeing, oh, look at that. So that's saying request timeout. So that means it did not work. This is great. First of all, double check, make sure you typed it correctly, which we did in this case. So most of the time, this will work immediately. It's probably because we just switched it. So one thing you can do is you can go back here to mode, set it to static just for a little bit, and then switch it back to dynamic. At that point, it should reassign it an IP address. So it's zero, 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 zero. Okay, let's try it one more time. So now it says 192.168.86.51. So 192.168.86.51. Again, you have to type P-I-N-G space and then hit that. Now we are getting bytes back here. So it didn't like it when we quickly switched back and forth from Wi-Fi to wired. But now we're saying it says six bytes from, which means it got some sort of data, or 64 bytes from, which means it got some sort of data here. Now we can try that IP address, um, which it looks like it tried again and managed to do, but we can do it manually here. So 192.168.86.51. And we hit connect, and there we go. So that's how you can double check to make sure that the two devices are actually able to communicate with each other. Uh, hopefully that helps. All right.
Have a great day.